Hello, my beautiful beauties and my wonderful lovelies. A pleasant evening to you. All right, my beautiful people, let us reason together. Let us put on our critical thinking caps and we're going to look at this hypothesis. I call it called hypocrite or hypocrisy. Now, when we hear the word hypocrite, we normally think of persons who will say one thing and do another or they will allow something for one individual but disallow it for somebody else. And so it, you're not stable, you're not you know, consistent in all your ways. That's just a surface mean, meaning of the word hypocrite or hypocrisy, if you want. When Jesus was speaking about hypocrisy or the hypocrites, and he was talking primarily with the zealots and about the zealots and the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the scribes, what he was really saying is that um, even though they, they could not hide their true feelings where he was concerned, really, they thought they could, they would approach him to test his knowledge. Because remember, you know, Jesus didn't go to their pharisaical school. So they wanted to disprove his wit and his knowledge and, you know, what he knew and his wisdom. So they came with very, you know, tough, but it was conniving, secretly questioned. So they came, probably said, Oh, Master, Jesus, oh, how are you? And they came very sweet and they came very nice. But their intent was to try and humiliate him. Their intent was to try and gaslight him. Or their intent was to get people to mock him and to laugh at him. So they came with their false self in a sweet manner, in a welcoming manner. To question him and he confounded them every time in fact he made them look ridiculous and what he was saying is that they come hypocrites for Jesus somebody who comes and they say hello how are you I think you you look well or you you're so beautiful I'm so proud of you I wish you God's highest and best while their hearts are saying I wish you would die I wish calamity would hit you I wish you will never move from point A to point B I wish you would just be extinct right now. But they're able to mask it and put a smile. Not every teat. There's a song that I sung years ago, a folk piece. I don't remember. Not every teat were kin, a kin. Meaning not everybody that smiles with you is smiling with you. And that's the hip hypocrisy Jesus was talking about. Those are the hypocrites. They wear a mask, but they're able to make their mask look welcoming. Be careful. Ask God for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and discernment. Know who is for you and who is not for you. Follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this.